yeah we'll uh, start with the session okay let me open the Yeah, so we started with the uh, Selenium. So in Selenium, we ba basically try to launch the browser using WebDriver. And then uh, we started working with the basic activities, click type and then select by using the basic locators, ID name, class, class name and tag name. We did not discuss much. We will not be using it much because of duplicates. We will be working on that later when we have uh, we're going to work on collections at that time we'll be discussing this. So ID name, link text, partial link text and basics of XPath is what I covered. With that, we were able to do basic operation in the application. So initial stages would be working on the forms where you have a radio button, checkbox, drop down, click activities, type activities, those things you need to work on. So with Selenium, throughout the Selenium, in order to work with any web element, we will be using this method, find element, which gets the web element object. And then using that web element object, we can do any operation. So operations like click, type, select. So while using this find element, it takes only 0.5 seconds to do the operation. And if the element is not coming in 0.5 seconds, it will throw error. That's the feature of this find element. So Sometimes uh, the element comes after a second or after two seconds. So during that time and all, we cannot go and report and uh, report the development team. The element is not present like that and all. So we cannot uh, give a conclusion based on this particular point five second. So to overcome that issue, what we will do is we'll increase the implicit weight from zero to twenty or thirty. So implicit weight is something which will be applicable for two method. One is find element method. The other one is find elements. So whenever you find the element, it will try to use the implicit weight concept. If the element is there, immediately it will do the operation. If the element is not there, it will keep on checking for the element. And after the implicit weight time, it will throw error. And as I told you, it's uh, going to be used only for find element and find elements. Suppose you are getting the title, getting the URL, those places and all, you should not think about implicit weight. It just work on two methods where you find the element. Explicit and fluid weight we'll discuss later. So we have done with the uh, click type and selecting from the drop down, and then uh, I explained to the advanced concept over here, where we will be working on frame, multiple tabs or windows alert. A frame is what we discussed in the last session. Uh, did you get time to work on the assignment? Yes, yes, solve uh, that last one. This one, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, you are uh, new to Java and Selenium, right? Yes. Okay. Fine. Then today we'll discuss about multiple tabs, windows, and alert. So the operation goes something like this. So basic form filling that you need to know and the basic synchronization is important. Uh, anyone can do easily do the automation, but synchronization, understanding the application is important when it comes to web application. Each and every application will have slight change in the behavior. So based on that, we have to write the automation. That's something which we need to build on. For that only, we'll be working on lots of websites. As of now, we have started working with the different sites during the session as well as in the assignment part. All these are our live applications. So once... Uh, these two topics are done you can start automating things with your application where you do a manual testing okay so let's uh, finish this we'll try to connect the selenium project to get and then we'll start with uh, today's topic multiple tabs or windows let me assignment uh many of you have done it so we'll uh, check it later Let me open the Eclipse.
Yeah, did you try it in any other application apart from this? Uh, so, uh, sorry, Balaji. Yeah, did you what? try with uh, any other application? No, no, no. Okay, fine. So, see, for uh, example, Eclipse is also you need to get comfortable with Eclipse. For example, I have opened a different workspace. This is a different session which I handle. So, to change the workspace, you can go to File, Switch Workspace, and uh, you can choose other where it will show you the recent workspace or you can click on browse and you should know where the workspace is for example right now under nse you love dot metadata folder that's the workspace level you should not open the project if you open the project it will create workspace inside the project so dot metadata is something which will have current eclipse detail current eclipse version and everything will be there suppose if this space if you try to open a new eclipse it will ask you to change the metadata details you have to proceed with change, then it will open. So right now, this is my workspace level. And you can map the project in different directory also. So we'll quickly finish the GitHub connectivity so that uh, you can easily track the Selenium code. As a Java part, uh, when we started it, I explained you the concept of GitHub. Using Eclipse is what I explained to you. You can uh, use the same thing. Remember that whenever it comes to any 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 new things which you are going to learn, you have to understand the architecture. And based on that architecture only, we have to move on. For example, if I want to keep my project uh, in the GitHub, GitHub or GitLab or AWS code commit, those are all repository. You will come to know once you start with the project, you will come to know which repository you are going to work on. Now, first, you need to understand what is the concept of that repository. A Git is a open source uh, concept, which is helpful in managing your code, source code management tool. And it follows a distributed version control system, which means at a time, multiple people will be able to work with GitHub. How multiple people is able to modify at a time is going to be based on this local repository. So each and every users will have their own local repository. For Java concepts, we created the local repository, .git folder dot git folder which you see that's a local repository so you have to do yeah basically you need to update the local repository before uh, updating the github or bitbucket that is a remote repository to update the local repository first you need to track the file the files which you wanted to you wanted to push it to the github you have to add it and then you have to do commit commit is something which will update the local repository so for that on stage to stage, you need to move. Then we will try to do a commit. Commit process you need to complete. And you can do a number of commits. Commit one, commit two, all the commits will be tracked. And then uh, at the end of the day, or once you are finalized with everything, you can do a push. Whatever the commits you have done, everything will be updated to remote also. That's what we are planning to do. In order to work with this uh, Selenium project, I wanted to keep it in the GitHub. To keep it in the GitHub, first I need to create the local repository. Then I need to update the local repository. Let me do that. So right click on the project. You can also do it if you are planning to connect with GitHub. And then share project. Right click on the project team, share project, create repository. Then I have to commit. Then I have to do push. Let's do that. So each and every project will have different repository. Team, share project. Now whether we wanted to create or use the local repository in the project directory. This is my project. Here, there is no local repository. So I'm going to click on this, use or create. It will, if it is available, it will pick. Right now, it's not available in Selenium concept.git folder. So I'm going to create repository, finish. This will try to create the local repository right now. Okay. Now, local repository is ready. Now you see the arrow mark here arrow mark before the package, which means my local repository is not up to date. My project and local repository is not up to date. To update the local repository, I have to do the commit. Let's uh, do commit. Right click on it, team commit. Now while doing a commit, it will ask you, like it will not move all the files. First, it will ask you, which are the files you wanted to keep a track? So you can choose the file, which file you wanted to keep a track. You don't want to add all the files together. You can have the file 
for example let me do one thing i'll uh, choose launch browser and uh, facebook uh, registration these two i'll add it only these two and then i'm going to give commit message i'm going to give launching browser basic web operation and that's the message i'm going to give and then i'm going to do commit i did one commit so right now those two files got updated those two files got updated you can see arrow mark is gone which means these two files are up to date with local repository in this current uh, current folder current directory this directory these two are up to date these two are updated to local report now i can uh, i'm going to do one more commit here let me do that these three file and i'll mention it as frame working frame and then i'll do a commit so this is the second commit i did those two commit if i do it will update the local repository and it will be encrypted you cannot see the files and all and also it's an hidden folder under view you have to choose this in add item to check this any it's not required to be shown you can hide it now local repository is up to date if i make any changes in my script if i make any changes in my script using index i've updated a detail in this you can see that arrow mark okay that uh, greater than symbol basically pointing to this file it tells this file is not up to date with local repository okay for that time going to do one more commit team commit so i'll just add this file unstage to stage then add a comment in frame okay and then commit now i have done commit only whatever the commit i do it will try to update three commits i have done till now all updated in my local repository okay now to keep this code safe or multiple people are going to contribute to this project so how can we merge all these details for that you need some remote repository if my this, this system get crash it will be gone right now so to keep it safe we will try to push it into some github you can create an account in github or a gitlab or bitbucket anywhere it's fine you can see gitlab is also an open environment it's also providing the free environment where you can create an account and do it but gitlab is widely used okay. let me use gitlab here i'll try to get the repository right now let me create a new repository and repository name i'll give selenium project selenium concept basically what we are discussing let me keep it as selenium concept for my reference i'll keep it as nsc and i'm going to keep it as public and then if you are adding any file to the github then you have to first uh, get that file to local that uh, i know i'm not going to do don't add any of this file as stuff now we'll discuss about that later selenium concept create repository now in this repository i wanted to update okay so right now these are all command next class i'll show you how to use these commands and do it in the command line right now we are using eclipse directly now i have to do push while doing a push you can see team push you have to give the repository detail here you can just copy it and then paste it here automatically these fields get filled this is the url https url you can copy paste it and uh, to connect this you have to give your uh, username this will be the username this is the username your username you need to give and password you need to give so eclipse uh, not going to accept the login password which you do to make it or to generate the token under uh, settings developer settings personal access token you can generate the new token and then you can copy the token and paste it here store it contribute and you can see branch different branches will be there which we will be discussing later right now only one branch master branch where i am doing a push right now okay you can see commit and push is what we are learning we are learning from one side only from local to remote now you will be able to see till now i have done three commits you can see all three commits will be there in my repository okay i have to update it properly i just added the files right so only that folder got updated 
So three commits. Okay. Selenium advanced, Selenium basics. Okay, these uh, commits. Under the commits, for example, uh, if you're deleting some file, those will also be available in the commits. So these are the things. Last commit which I did is just adding a comment. So what was there before and what being changed will be shown. Okay. So let me update all other files also. Today we'll discuss about uh, multiple tabs. While working with multiple tabs, I'll give you an idea about collections. Let me do that. Okay. Updated the entire project. Fine. Now, right now, I updated all the files in the current folder. These files. All these files. Any of these files are not required. Just to keep the view, I just updated it. Okay. Let's start with the new topic. As it will do three important topics there in uh, Selenium. After doing the basic operation frame which we have discussed detail in the last class and uh, today we'll be discussing about multiple tabs and alert let's do that uh, multiple tabs multiple tabs or uh, windows the concept will be same thank you sir let me do this uh, operation db db free dot i'll go to the site and i'll click on php my admin sometimes when you click on uh, some of the link it will open in a new tab sometimes it opens a new tab sometimes it will open a new window like this concept will be same multiple tabs or windows the concept will be same so right now there will be a session id each and every tab will have session id for example if i have 10 tabs 10 session id will be there if i have two tab two session id will be there okay so when you, most of the times you will be dealing with two tabs okay when you deal with two tabs there will be two session id right now there will be one session id and two session id will be getting second session id session id is something like alphanumeric text which will be dynamic first we need to understand uh, to get the session id let me do one thing first what i'll do is i'll go to this uh, site first of all i'll click on php my admin I'll click on PHP my admin. Let me load this URL. So for this, what I'll do is I'll create a new. Let me keep this uh, package name as a uh, frame. Instead of Selenium Advanced, I'll keep it as frame. Package wise, I'll give you the detail. Since we have a uh, two hours per day, it will be easy for you to track the package. Now I'll create one more package. You can also create a package from dot company name dot Perhaps I'll keep it inside this package. I'm going to create a new class. DB free. Just I'll keep it with main method. Just updated the concept as in those three files. Let me create this uh, launch the browser. To launch the browser, first I need to create an object. While creating an object, new Chrome driver or new Firefox driver, whatever the object you need to create, you can create. That object will store it in some parent reference for uh, doing the cross browser catching, which uh, we will discuss. We'll show you that today. Uh, what are the concepts we have discussed? We have discussed still constructor. Okay. I'll tell you about the basic inheritance concept today. Now I'm going to create one uh, driver dot get here. Navigating to this URL. While giving the URL, make sure you give always HTTP or HTTPS. Okay. Then you can also click on it driver dot find element. Let me inspect it. Let me inspect it. You can see here PHP my admin. 
and uh, it's a b tag it's in bold b and uh, b tag span tag div tag is not a clickable element but we are able to click on this so most of the time it will be covered with anchor tag so here there is php my admin space is there special character is there whenever you come with special character you can give the special character but sometimes uh, eclipse will not be able to recognize the special character or it will be like uh, when you copy paste it the font get changes so because of that and all you will be getting an issue in case uh, if you see special character you can avoid that and do write your own xpath or uh, just use partial link text if it is an anchor tag over here you can use anchor tag it's an anchor tag a tag also having the text you can use either link text if you use link text you have to give special character you can also use partial link text and you can give php my admin or you can write the xpath any any one option you can use it just use everything and try it okay so you can uh, let me give you another idea about xpath i have discussed about two xpath using attribute and find and using text and find using text and find it's fine it will work over here let me add it over here here the tag name is b slash slash b square bracket text equal to you have to give the entire text entire text is php admin greater than that option that's the text here let me copy it and put it over here control of control you can see it's the special character get changes i guess so it's not uh, getting that element so let me use a uh, xpath with contain path of xpath is there let's slowly we'll learn one by one so xpath with contains tag name almost same xpath you can use attribute contains text contain that's what i'm going to add it over here yeah you need to do contains attribute contains of equal to it will be come on attribute contains and then uh, text contains attribute contains text contains so let me copy paste over here add tag name is b contains text i can give some php yet you can see when i add special character it was not showing but uh, i give some part of a text you can see it is pointing to the tail so the six part you can use contains okay this is this was not working this is also valid x path only because of special characters are not working so i can use this and click on it so by dot x path dot finding the element and do the operation sometimes uh, you will be doing find element and then leave it as it is and then you will move to the next step and why it is not working. So you have to find the element and do the operation. So tick. You can see when I click on it, it opens in a new tab. Now, after opening the new tab, you have to switch to the new tab. You have to move from this tab to this tab. With this driver, driver dot you are doing, driver dot get title, driver dot current URL. Driver will be able to automate at a time, able to automate only one tab. Right now, what we are doing is we are finding this element and clicking on it. Driver is performing a click here, finding the element and clicking on it. Now, that object is performing a click. The click is opening in new tab. It doesn't mean your driver directly move to new tab. So right now you have to write the code moving from this session ID to this session ID. Okay, session ID first we'll understand how to get the session ID and print it is what we are going to discuss right now. Okay. Now, whatever the operation I do, even though I clicking on it, I'll try to get the title. Let me we work on get title on all fine we'll do that so after i click on it let me do one thing
after i click on this php admin it opens in a new tab you can see it opens in a new tab you have to move to this tab first you need to understand what is the session id of this tab and get it okay assume that we are going to get the collection of string okay session id is you are going to get it in the collection session id you are going to get it in the collection now They told you you are going to get in the collection collection of string and uh, it's going to be a zero based index what are the like right now you will be getting a collection of string two string will be getting two session id will be getting what will be the index point if you are going to get the collection like a uh, array of string also you can consider in that two string will be there so what are the index point we'll be having Tell me what are the index point we will be having. For example, if you have a two string in the collection, what are the index point? Zero and one. Yeah, zero and one. So that's the concept here. When we deal with two tab, you can easily understand zeroth index will contain this session ID, this tab session ID. First index will have this this tab session ID. So I can easily write a logic to go to switch to the second tab session id as i told you three three concept users switch to method driver dot switch to the method. you can see before uh, i do some operation in the second tab i need to do driver dot switch to dot window and uh, then I have to give the session id here driver dot switch to dot window you can see it's asking for string session id is going to be a dynamic one you have to first understand how to get the session id let's uh, first understand that okay now for that to get all the session id from the page I want to get all the session ID from the page. If you have two tab, two session ID will be there. If you have three tab, three session ID will be there. For that, you have a method window handles. There's a method called handles, window handles. Argument is, and it's going to return something like set of string. Basically, it's a collection of string. Okay, it's a collection of string where it will have zeroth index and first index. So basic idea about collection is required. Let's, uh, practice some collection with the java then i'll quickly show you and concept will be same as i told you only frame is the hidden concept rest everything will be straightforward when you see when you click on it it's opening a new tab means you have to just copy paste the code to go to the new tab that's it it will be always the same code yeah whatever the application going to new tab code will be same only thing where you have to spend time and analyze and do it is frame alert windows multiple tabs all these are going to be straightforward so for uh, working with uh, driver dot get window handles you need to understand some set string what is set string you need to understand let's first understand that i'll go to the java application quickly java application i'm going to create one new package home dot nsc dot collections now in java you need to work on things collection lots of collection is there but uh, basic collection idea you should have one is one is uh, array list array list the other one is hash map hash map is some which will have key value key value per it will store an array list is an extension of array con playlist is an extension of a concept and uh, drawback of arrays in array the size will be fixed we already discussed some part of array while declaring an array itself the size will be fixed or the size you need to fix it in the array okay if you give this also it's fixed only for four values you cannot modify it for example i have created an array with five here i have loaded an array with four value i cannot uh, add a new value after this in line number 44 i wanted to increase i wanted to add a new value to the array it's not possible you have to create a new array here also once it is declared the size is fixed you cannot modify the existing array object existing object you cannot modify it to six or seven it's a drawback every time you are going to create a new new array to overcome this issue most of the time when you deal with collection you have to add a value remove a value 
for example we are going to deal with this multiple tabs right now two session id will be there if i click on it one more tab gets open so three session id should be there so array list like uh, the collection should have three session id if i click on one more tab it opens one more tab so four session id should be there if i close it it should be updated to three session id so we are going to modify in the existing object itself the adding a value removing a value in the collection the extension of array concept is nothing but array list the size will be dynamic when it comes to collections you can keep on adding the value you can create an array list basically the collections are classified into two ways one is generic the one is non generic let's understand that quickly let me create one new class first i'll quickly give you an idea about uh, creating an array list and then we'll discuss the rest of it array list or demo with main method i'll create here there is a class called array list array list is a class if you create an object for this class basically you can add n number of value into it okay there is a method everything is going to be non static method so i have to create an object and call it you, while creating an array list it's a generic loss for the type what type of uh, value you are going to keep it in this array for example i wanted to keep this value red green yellow blue something like that plus i wanted to keep it but right now we know the type of values each uh, is done everything is going to be a string here you can create a array list of string array list of string and this is your generic where you will give exactly what type it contains each and every index point contains a string or i wanted to go with integer you have to give you should not give int you should be giving the class integer it's an array list of integer we'll discuss about that integer and all it's a generic there is a array list something like this also which is not recommended to be used but it's a valid uh, detail only array list you see the warning it shows warning uh, reference to generic type try to use the generic type don't use the raw type okay so some suggestion is giving will i'll tell you before winding up the session i will use a list of string right now declaration right now list of string a list of string i'm going to give the list name as colors new object i'm going to create the array list of string now in this array list of string you can have n number of values n number of string so colors variable name dot reference variable name dot you can see add that is a method which will add an item to the collection now add i'll keep it as red so one value i added plus dot you are want to keep an integer so right now it's not possible reason it is list of string i will be keeping it as a new color i added plus dot add hello plus dot add green i'm just adding a new value into it right now four values i added now if you see here let me put break point here system dot out dot println plus let me put a break point here debug it let me put a break point here and debug you can see it's uh, it's going to create a memory for uh, keeping the list of string collection of string now i'm adding a value into it right now it's empty line number 12 i'm trying to run in that you can see zeroth index will have red and then first index second index third index four values right now i'm just printing the collection detail okay it's basically going to give the address eclipse is giving you the collection detail in that address you will have lots of value if i want blue what will be the index point if i want blue i have to give the index point you should not give something like this which may not work in java part what you need to do is you have to access the methods only dot get. there is a method called get get of index you can press index value and it will return a string because it's each and every index point contains a string so right now i'm going to give the index as 1 and then print the value 
you can see it's going to print the value in the first index now if i want to remove a value from this collection particular value i want to remove you can see plus dot path of method will be there here will clear all the record and there is a remove remove of index point is there you can provide the index point it will remove the value in that index point or i can directly give the value which i want to remove i want to remove yellow in it okay and then i'll try to print the collection colors let me debug the code you see four values is there in right now printing all four values and printing the first index value then removing yellow after removing yellow the current uh, collection detail will be printed red blue green yellow i removed so green shifted to index 2 okay now this is whatever you wanted to do like add a value remove a value okay insert a value everything is possible with collection all these are going to be happening through methods you can write advanced for loop which we have already discussed a basic for loop we discussed how to write a for loop and do the operation for writing a for loop and get all the values from the array i need to know the size size of the array whereas here i need to know the size of this particular list for that system dot out dot printl and colors dot size everything is going to be a method here there's a method called size which will give you the size of the list right now it will be three if i run it after this stage if i run the size will be four basic operation we should know now in selenium we don't create a array list and all what we do is we call some method that method will give you a list of values you can create array list of employee also uh, if you remember that when we discussed about employee object i created an employee array employee array so if you did not understand this try to get back to that video and see every class is basically a type every class is basically a type user defined data type right now for that you can create an array each and every index contains employee type it's an array i can give array list of employee each and every index contains employee object mostly development team will be using this array list of their own type right now i'm just creating it as string to write a for loop i can easily achieve using this for loop okay size i can mention and uh, if the size is 4 index point will be 0 to 4 and then i can call this method and uh, get the value 1 by 1 0 1 2 3 or i can write an advanced for loop writing an advanced for loop hope you remember that for loop advanced for loop if it is whatever the collection you have first you need to mention that collection here and you need to know what data type it is here the collection name is colors each index point contains string i can give string color right now if i run this for loop it will get all the value from this collection the list getting the value printing it size 4 index point 1 removing yellow and then printing index point size and you can see from this collection it will send the value one by one first red green blue and then green okay it's a collection so got some idea about this collection right now now concept is array list what we do basically with array list is we try to store you might be seeing some list of string and all you see uh, list of string okay the list is basically an interface which i will be discussing it uh, no need to worry about it like web driver we are storing here uh, new chrome driver we are creating and we are storing it in web driver it says it's i i is basically an interface and over here also if you see i am creating an object for uh, array list a simple object we know how to create it okay now and that object will try to store it in the list list is an interface interface is something which will have only interface will have only method uh, declaration will be there and whichever the class is implementing this interface they have to give the definition for these methods so standard set of rules is defined in the interface okay we'll see that uh, later i will store it in the list similarly we'll store it in the set we'll store it in the list we'll store it in the set okay now what is the difference between list and set system
sorry no there is a list of string set of string whereas here if you see driver dot uh, get window handles it's telling it's going to give you a set of string and there is a method which we have to discuss find elements you see it's giving you a list of web element list of employee play list of web element now what is the difference between these two things set of string list of string let's understand that quickly i'll add it over here list was set the list contains duplicates whereas here you can add a duplicate record i can add a again i can add blue which will add it in the next index whereas set is something where you cannot uh, add a duplicate record okay. session id uh, if you take it will be unique only for that uh, not contain duplicate id set cannot contain duplicates value so if you see here get window handles let's uh, shift to get window handles let me close this driver or get window handles it will give you a set of string you can put it into set of string you can store it in set of string and you can write a for loop okay with the uh, list array list list of uh, string array list and all we can easily access the index point when you are dealing with two tab, you know exactly what are the index points. That's the advantage when you deal with two tab. Suppose I'm dealing with five tab, 10 tab means you have to write lots of logic for that. First basic uh, operation will work on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this, uh, anyhow I have discussed about array list only right now. So I'm going to convert this uh, set of string. This window handles gives you set of string. I'm going to convert the set of string into a array list. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object of array list. A list of string windows I'll keep variable name equal to new array list of string. Now, this is a simple array list I'm creating. It is not going to have any record in it. I'm going to give inside the bracket, I'm going to give driver dot plot of constructor is there basically for array list of string. You can see I'm lot of uh, constructors will be there inside this so the constructor details if you see the constructor detail it will keep on going right now you can pass here driver dot get window handles get window handles gives you set of string where it will not have a duplicate we are just converting that to a list you can put it into list of string or array list of string as of now you can keep it anything as now it's not going to make much difference here in our case so i'll just keep it in array list itself to make it clear so right now what i did is i i got some collection of string that is a set of string that i converted to a list of string i'm just going to get the session id first tab session id first tab session id first we will load this url that tab session id i'll try to get windows dot get of zero each index point will have the session id i'm just doing windows of get of zero this will give you the first tab session id it will click on dbfree.net like php my admin but uh, first tab session id will be given zeroth index if i want a second tab session id this is your session id it will be dynamic every time you run it will get a new value to get the second session id what should we do second tab session id if we need it Uh, change uh, index to one so we have to change the index to one now let me print about the session id now you know exactly with the tab we want to deal with when you deal with two tab no confusion at all first tab will be in zeroth index second tab will be in first index that's it so right now driver will be always pointing to zeroth index this tab the tab which you're opening first right that tab only you click on these donations and all it will open in same tab so not an issue 
but uh, when it is opening in the new tab you have to go to that particular tab by using the session id only so to do the operation i can use driver dot switch to dot uh, window dot sorry driver dot switch to dot window that session id i can give so windows dot windows is nothing but a variable name you can give any variable name here reference variable dot get of one and this will be the script this will go to second tab. switch to second tab. Okay. driver will switch to second tab. Now driver will be pointing to this tab only okay. now we have a third called close and quit for closing the browser you might be using these two method methods like uh, quit there's a method called quit and then close so we'll understand the difference between quit and close close will uh, close the current session current session current session pointed by driver it means the current tab technically speaking it will be a session it is a method there is a method which will uh, close the entire session which means the current uh, browser okay and also it will uh, kill the process associated to it process associated you see here okay, i have triggered lots of browser right now Every time we trigger a browser, it will connect to the driver. It will connect to the driver. Then only it will be opening the browser. You can see in the task manager, you can see Chrome driver. Lots of Chrome driver is running because we are not closing it properly. To close this driver properly, you have to terminate this driver also. To close this properly, we will be using a method called quit. It will close the browser and also it will kill the process. So always it is recommended if you are going to terminate the run, you have to like if you are planning to finish the completion of this browser automations and all, always we go for quit. When you wanted to close only one tab and continue the operation, then only we go for close. Otherwise, we go for quit. If you are dealing with one tab, if you use close, it will it looks like if you are dealing with one tab, if you do close, it will close the browser. It looks like closing the browser. But it will just close that session. That session will close the browser. But all the exe will be running in the background. The Chrome driver exe and all. So terminate it. We'll be using quit. Let me do one thing here. I'll do driver dot close. Right now driver is pointing to first tab or second tab. In this context, if you see here, let me put a breakpoint here. Debug it and show you. Driver dot close. Which tab will be closed right now? Tab having index one. So it like uh, it will op close the second tab in our case. You can see it's going to give you all the session ID. Now I'm printing the session ID going to the second tab, which means the first is session ID I'm switching, switching the driver from one session ID to different session ID, first tab session ID. Now driver dot close will close the current session. Current session is driver is pointing to this second tab. You see here it will try to close that particular tab okay before closing the tab and then uh, if you wanted to do any operation you can try to complete the operation i can do driver like if i wanted to enter a data here if i want to enter a data here i'll do enter. i'll enter a data here to enter the data you can see here after the automation script will be same it's uh, having an id first preference will give it to id Operation will be same. Driver dot find element a dot id. So most of the time you will deal with two tab. When you deal with two tab, it will be easy. When you deal with uh, three four tab, then it will be quite difficult to understand which session id is pointed by which index. When you deal with three four tabs. If three four tabs got triggered right now, three four windows got triggered right now, it will be quite difficult to identify it. 
for the time uh, we have to write some logic each and every index we will go every session id will go and we'll check the title of the page url of the page based on that we will try to top that into that we'll do that later right now i'm just running the script you can see right we'll close the browser quickly let me stop this driver.close is it clear for you what is driver.close if i do driver.quit it will close it will uh, close the browser and also terminate the operation if i do this driver.close before uh, driver.close for uh, doing the switch what will happen after clicking on php at my admin i'm going to do driver um, browser will get closed yeah it will close the first tab only because second tab it will be already i'm clicking on second one link actually if you see here before switching to the second tab i'm doing driver dot close it will leave this particular tab understood i'm clicking on it okay if i if i if i put it over here it looks like it will close the browser okay but actually it will just uh, close the tab i'm clicking on it and then i'm putting driver dot close after clicking on it it will not to new tab only when you run the statement it will go to new tab driver after clicking on it your driver will be staying on the previous tab only this tab only okay if i after clicking on php my admin if you search for the element it will search in this page you can click on php my admin you can click on database you can click on imprint change log all these activity because your driver will be always pointing to first tab only only when you run the statement it will go for the new tab understood This is important thing. Okay, I'm just entering the username. Now, understood how to handle multiple tabs. you deal with two tabs uh, is it clear for you to handle it okay fine so entering the password clicking on login all these activities you can do it entering the all these activity you can do let's understand this i'm going to do a uh, enter password and then click on login or click so here uh, name is going to id is there input uh, password the id and uh, for clicking on login id input underscore post okay. so after that i'm going to do driver dot close so driver dot close it's clear for you right the current session current tab will be closed current tab is this is the tab this tab will get close Currently, we are actually pointing to this tab. This tab. This gets closed actually. Okay. So after, let me run this, make sure it's working fine. And you have to repeat this for uh, whenever you deal with two tabs. You can just repeat the code. And it will be straightforward, not like frame. You see, it just clicked on login and then closed it. Okay. Now, after closing after closing if you are planning to continue this let me try to do some i'll try to in the title of the page this is your title of the page dbfree.net to get the title you have a method driver dot get title okay get title this get title will return a string no argument it's going to return a string let me store the string string title and then i'll try to Present carefully. Let me put a breakpoint in the start point and then do it step by step. Understand the flow properly. First, I'm clicking on uh, you see launching this URL and clicking on PHP my admin. The click is actually opening a new tab. We are not opening a new tab. The click is actually opening a new tab. It doesn't mean your driver will automatically go to new tab. Your driver is still there on this tab only. Whatever the operation you do right now, your driver will be point or you will be able to do operate on this tab only. 
now what we are doing is we are collecting all the session id right now you can see windows driver dot get window handle this method will collect all the session id right now in the browser current browser only and give you there are two session id when you deal with two tap two session id will be there for sure zeroth index will be the base url which you are loading and first index will be the new tab just printing the session id no need to print the session id and all you can directly do driver dot switch to dot window windows dot get of one it will go for the second tab switching to second tab now if you do find element it will try to do operation in that particular tab then i'm doing a driver dot close close is something which will close the current session current tab now okay now what will happen if i try to get the title see a legend carefully if i am trying to get the title here let me run it it's trying to get the title and uh, you see we are getting this error last see we have seen few errors errors also important when you work in a project you can easily understand no such element exception means the locator is not available even the locator is available still it is no such element means it's a frame you try to click on some element some pop-up comes uh, above that element then intercepted exception will be there to handle this you have to close that pop-up or click outside to close that pop-up now you see we got this error exception in thread main no such window exception okay target window is already closed if you are doing a close the current tab will be closed your driver will not automatically switch to the available tab and all okay right now have to go to the first tab how to go to first tab after you close you have to run that operation otherwise you will not get down see nothing will happen automatically with selenium we have to add the script we are working on two tab i'm closing this tab okay after closing the tab we have to go to the available tab which means this tab so what is the script i need to run to go to the available tab the first tab if i want to go to Okay, using switch to driver dot switch to and then driver dot switch to dot no i have to give the session id so from which i can get the session id we already have the session id right under which index the session id and zero yeah so already we have windows dot windows dot get of zero that's how you switch between the session id and work on it okay suppose you go to php my admin after going to php my admin you click on something you try to click on something and uh, it opens a new tab yeah i'll just click on this it opens a new tab you can see it just opens a new tab now i want to go to this this third tab then what you need to do is you have to rerun this object this object you need to re rerun this line of code line number 24 you have to rerun because you have to update the array list with the latest session ids a new tab session id will be coming to second index when you deal with three four tabs that i'll tell you how to handle right now make a note on how to deal with two tab zero index first index which will be easy for to handle you can handle as a set of string to handle as a set of string you have to write for loop and deal with so what i'm trying to do is i'm converting that to array list array list concept is what i explained you over here with the java part okay array list of string uh, the array list will store it in the list of string basically in interface here we can keep it as list of string that's the concept. we always refer it as list of string or set of string those are all interface only just to make sure a list will have duplicates it will not have duplicates we have to we can easily handle the index point when it is an array list that's why we are converting to array list and if you see this concept it's going to be always same for example this any doubts for this first of all this is a new window if i want to for example let me click on login right now if you see if i click on login it says please enter user id but it is opening a new tab sorry new window 
for going to new window also concept will be same driver dot switch to dot new window let me create one uh, new file here t bank test and uh, what i'll do is t bank mo2 this one i'll keep it as demo one let me click on city bank city this url i'll try to navigate then after navigating to that url load this url loading this url i'll directly click on login I'll click on login when i click on login you can see so my icon is there so you can see here it's an anchor tag text is not there it's just an image actually image or icon something is there you can write text path for this this for this div tag you can write text path or you can write text path for this href anything is fine okay let me try to write the x path over here again exception please enter user id Let me write the export for this. Slash slash div cut bracket at the rate plus equal to when you write export, you have to just do attribute equal to value. Just wrote this export and I'm ready to click on it. When I click on this, it should open a new window right now. Instead of new tab, basically it opens a new window. It's not opening a new window. They're blocking, so it's uh, load the URL and then I'll click on this uh, login, particular login. Let me inspect it. That login will also open in a new tab. You can see it's a span tag, span contains login. So I'll just quickly write this path slash slash span. It's equal to login. I'll just click on this. When I click on it, it's also opening a new tab. Let me click on that. Now after clicking on that, it opens a new tab. Uh, just work on new window also it will be a same concept only it opens a new tab even though if i click on it it just crashing crashed so it's they are not allowing so what i'll do is here in this tab i'll try to enter some text here okay. to enter the text and i'll try to click on login let's see whether it's working or not there is an id is there id equal to user id is there let me try to do that to get into new tab, I have to rerun the script. No changes in the script. Just rerun the script. First, you have to update the list. You can use either array list or list. If anything is fine. List means you have to input the detail properly. The order details. Now, whatever it is, just update the function. The session ID updated to some variable. Now, I have to just use driver dot switch to dot window. The statement is now driver dot switch to dot window. I have to give the session ID, which means the windows dot bit of one to the second tab. So these two lines now it will go to the second tab. Right? I can uh, just do this operation: driver dot find element by dot ID and do the operation.
after entering the user id i'll try to click login to click login this is the expert which i wrote it's just not working Let's try to practice in different sites. I'll give you a few more assignments. Slowly, we will try to move to advanced uh, pages. Once that uh, automation is ready, once we are able to do automation on the application, you have to organize the script. Right now, we are just working on concept wise. You have to organize the script. I'm just uh, trying to do this activity. Click on login, it opens a new tab. Going to the second uh, tab using the index. And then uh, in the second tab, I'm trying to enter the name and click on login. Okay, uh, it clicks on login. After clicking on login, I wanted to click on close this window. It's a new tab, new tab or new window. You can consider this. Now, zeroth index will have this session ID. First index will have ses this session ID. I wanted to click on this close close the window. This window I wanted to close. What will be the session ID right now? How many session IDs will be there right now with this particular screen? Yeah, new list will be required. We have to update the list. Totally, a session ID will be there. Like now, you need to understand when you run this. For example, if I want to close close this window, I want to click on this close this window. I'll just inspect it. It's going to be a link only. It should be a link. You can see anchor tag you can use. If you link or partial link will work. Close this window. That should be fine. I can uh, write the script. Driver dot uh, find element by dot uh, link text partial link text that I can write. But, uh, at a time you can uh, work on only one tab. So you have to go to this tab. You have to switch to this tab. Okay. To switch to this tab, you have to use driver dot switch to dot window. But while running this particular one, driver.get window handles at that time, just listen here. Let me put a breakpoint here, debug the code. You have to understand where you are running this script, driver.get window handles. You have to call it. Whenever you are creating a new tab, you have to call that. Then only you will have you will get the updated session ID. You can see here. I'm clicking on login. After clicking on login, it opens a new tab. Then only we are trying to run the script, where which means right now we are having only two tab so when i run this script this list will have two session id that's it two session id only now we are going to the second tab and uh, trying to enter the name and uh, in click on login now that login actually opens a new tab one more window it opens instead of tab it opens a new window that's it the concept will be same now before doing before clicking on close this window i have to go to this particular session id first i need to understand the session id and then switch to the session id right now if i run this it will throw error because this tab it will check on which tab the second tab your driver is actually pointing to this tab in this tab it will check for close the window it's not going to be there i have to do switch to that session id i have to rerun the script actually get the updated session id already you see windows is declared with a list of string no need to redeclare it just update the collection that you know. update the update the session id list okay now you will get the let me terminate all these things now we will get all the session id here it will be quite difficult to understand okay let's uh, understand it will go in the order only but sometimes uh, when it opens at the same time right now it's opening in series only first it opens on tab in second tab in third it's not a problem in this case but sometimes what will happen all three tab will be opening at a time uh, it will be quite difficult to understand which tab is pointing to which session id let's complete this Going to the second tab, entering the data. 
clicks on login then opens a new tab updating the collection right now you see the session id let me print uh, i did not print the session id same session id i'm using so going to the second session id second index basically now it should be pointing to the star where i'm trying to close the window you see it got closed okay when it is opening in the series you will be having the order but what if all opens at same same time it will be quite difficult you have to write logics in that case so as of now this is clear for you understanding window handles clear for you there is a method called driver dot get window handle what this method will do get window handle any guess get window handle is the method which we did not use it window handle gives you all the session id window handle any guess which session id it will give you get window handle Yeah, it just gives you the current window handle right now if i run it okay right now it will throw error before uh, because we are closing the tab here if i run it will give you the current session id current session id will be that close the window screen right so that tab session id will be given if i run this here it's a string you can store it and if i run this uh, here it will give you the second tab session id if i run it uh, over here it will give you the first tab session id current session id will be given any of that not required for us to continue with this operation okay. right so let me do one thing let me try to try this site mockery i guess it will open three four tabs at a time let me try to check Okay, let me uh, write the code so that you can understand. See, for example, uh, assume that you are running some application. That application is actually opening three tabs at a time or three window at a time. Okay, and uh, it will be quite difficult to understand which session ID is pointing to which tab. Okay, so we'll write one generic code for handling that scenario. We'll write that code and give it to you. You can use that code. As I told you, multiple tabs is not going to be any hidden concept. Multiple tabs alert and all it's going to be straightforward you can directly handle it okay let me complete that and give it to you assignment i'll give you you can work on that for example let me do demo three let uh, remove all these things i'll remove all these things i'll we'll have a collection right now once i click on login i'll get all the session ids right now so what i'll do is i'll try to do this activity i'm going to click on uh, this text also i click for credit card just clicking on a link in the first tab i'm trying to find the element and clicking on login and then clicking on apply for credit card you see it opens two tabs right now two more tabs it will open i think it's a text basically Use driver dot quit going forward for closing the browser. Okay, it opens a new tab. Assume that uh, instead of clicking, when you launch the application itself, it opens two three tabs. Some application will be opening through two three tabs. You should be able to handle all the tabs. You have to understand which session ID is pointing to which tab. So most of the time, what we will do is we'll write one generic logic to make sure we are in a proper tab. We'll write some generic logic. 
logics will be something like this. First, we'll collect all the session ID. Now we'll write a for loop to print all the session ID. Let me write a for loop. You can use advanced for loop, uh, which means you'll give the collection detail. Once you give the collection detail in the left hand side, each index point is going to have string. Let me put it over here. System.out.println window. For right now, this will something run and uh, give you all the session ID. A simple for loop. I used it for uh, getting the values from the collection. No, same for loop only I'm writing. You can, if you want to use a for loop in the index, it's also fine, but this will be faster comparing to that. Right now you see all the session ID will be there. Assume that we don't know which session ID points to which tab. Okay, right now let me run this. It will print all the session ID. Okay, now after uh, every time it will go into that session ID and print it. Over here, I'm going to do driver.h2 dot window and then off window. So every time I'm printing the session ID, right? So zeroth index will be coming into picture. For that time, I'm going to switch to that session ID. And for sure, we will be pointing to that session ID only at that time. So no need to get confused here. Driver is pointing to same session ID. Already driver is pointing to that session ID only. I'm trying to switch to same session ID only. It's not going to throw any error. So not an issue in this case. So I'm just, uh, whatever the session ID is coming, I'm just going to switch to that session ID. Along with that, I'm going to write the logic here system.out.println driver.getTitle. Okay. I'm switching to session ID and getting the title. Let me try to do this system.out.println. So line I'll put. Let me debug this code. Logics is what you need to construct. Once you understand the concept, you have to construct the logic based on your projects and requirement. Now all the session IDs I'm going to get. For loop will have all the session ID. Basically, this uh, list is going to have all the session ID. Using advanced for loop for each, it will send the value one by one. So first session ID is going to come, zeroth index session ID. Just printing it. If you want to print, you can print it, otherwise it's fine. I'm switching to that session ID. Driver is going to point to that session ID. Driver is already pointing to that session ID only, zeroth index only. I'm switching to that session ID. Not going to throw any error. You, you can leave it. You don't want to skip it. And getting the title. You see, city India, this session we right now, driver is pointing to that tab. Now, going for next iteration, second session ID, and getting the title. See, it's pointing to this tab session ID. Online credit card. Online credit card application. You can see uh, when, I, when I try to click on the link, okay, which link performed quickly, that session ID is pointing which tab was loading properly, right? So I'm clicking on apply for credit card third time only after clicking on login. But if you see the order, slightly it got changed. Okay, the reason is uh, both tab I opened at a time. Basically, I click on uh, login and then click on apply for credit card. That's got loaded first. So the order might get changed. So it's better to implement the logic to identify which tab is in which session ID. One more session ID I'm trying to do and then going to that session ID and getting the title. Got it? So you see the session ID and corresponding title. Session ID, corresponding title. Session ID, corresponding title. Okay. So now, okay, we did this operation. Let's uh, do this. So you can write a simple if condition. Suppose I wanted to go to login, the city bank India. I can write a simple logic here. If condition, if driver dot get title. Okay. And driver dot get title is going to give you a string. Driver dot get title is going to give you a string. If you want to store it, you can store it. Not an issue. Let me store it. String title. And then I'll print the title. Now, title dot title dot equals title dot equals if title is matching with uh, title is matching with city bank india it's case in skew city bank india this will be the title already we are collecting the title if title is matching with city bank india i want to stop that I want to stop iteration for loop i need to stop for loop starts here 
change here. I want to stop the for loop. So what is the script to stop the for loop? What is the command to stop the for loop? Loop iteration if you want to stop. What's the logic used? How can you stop the iteration? Break. Okay. I can see if the title is matching with the if break is something which is used to terminate the loops okay, for loop for each while do while for terminating the further iterations. Okay, if is a condition, don't get confused. If is a condition, adding if condition with break and all is not going to make any sense. But break is for loop. You can see when I click on break, for loop is highlighted. Okay, don't get confused. If is a condition, if it is matching, it will enter into this. So what I'm trying to do is every time I'm getting the session ID and then I'm trying to get the title, I'm che checking whether that title is matching with Citibank. Whichever the tab you want, that title you give it over here. After matching it, it will do a break. Once it goes break, it will come out of the loop. Right now, which tab it will be pointing at this place in line number 42. I mean, after the loop, it will point to City Bank India. Okay, clear for you. This logic, you can construct this logic and keep it. And uh, you can create a keyword, switch to tab by title or uh, switch to window by url you can give title you can give or any other content also you can give got it it's clear for you let me debug this and show you just understand all the concepts and uh, try to implement it i'll give you a few assignments related to this and see here getting all the session id going to first session id title printing the title comparing the title it's not going to enter the if condition next iteration getting the title and then comparing it and then one more uh, title comparing it if it is matching it will enter the if condition if condition we are doing a break break means it will come out of the loop okay here if i use driver dot close which tab will be closed that is clear for you this tab will be closed suppose if i want to move to this tab online credit card applications all these tabs if i want to move on go to the inspect section and then give control of slash slash type you mentioned it will show you the title tag it will be in the top one. Okay. This is the title. If you want to give contains, you can give it right now. String methods dot equals. String is a class. String is a class. The class has lots of non-static. Call all these non-static methods. We need an object. So when you do this uh, title equal to double quote something, automatically object created using that object preference. We call the string methods. Okay. String dot equals is a method which will do the operation. If you want to use dot contains, contains part of what you can give. What equals is what we are using. Now it will point to that particular tab. If you see here, if I run this, it will close the tab which is mapping with matching with that online credit card. This logic is clear for you. you see that tab got closed okay and then you can see no more further iteration it stopped on this point come out of the loop it's clear for you any other doubts with this tab most of the time you deal with two tabs rarely you deal with uh, three four tabs Need outs with this. I'm just clear for you. Now, 
the next concept is handling the alert alert is going to be a simple concept so listen here and uh, it's it's a simple you have to just switch to alert and do the operation handling the alert alert you need to understand what alert you are planning to handle javascript alert is something which you can handle it uh, using this switch to alert let me go to medibuddy.in and i'll go to icici bank you see here we are going to get some i think i gave some assignment on this today i'll give the assignment on medibuddy you can see this pop up you get these things you can inspect it if you see this is basically a, having a colorful ui you can inspect it directly if you inspect it you are going to get id or uh, name or uh, some text will be there using that you can click on it most of the time you will have text if you want to click on it id you can use dot click driver dot find element dot click and this one it is also having a ui you can inspect it driver dot find element dot click will work over here okay now apart from that you have few javascript clicks javascript clicks are there okay sorry javascript alert sorry. javascript alert for handling the javascript alert which you can't inspect these things you were able to inspect right for example let me go for uh, hdfc thinking and show you if i click on go without uh, entering the data if i click on go without entering the data it will give you the solid box what we will do is in uh, automation we will try to make sure entering a proper customer id and click on go and see whether it is taking to the next page or without filling the detail if i click on go user should get this message we'll validate this message for that we should be able to get this message and we'll should be able to click on go for further operation sometimes you'll have ok cancel sometimes only ok will be there this alert you can't inspect always this will be the view which you can't inspect if you right click nothing will be happening on this particular alert box to handle this also we will be using switch to method okay switch to is the method to handle this all let me do one thing. some pages what happen is when you right click you see mouse right click is disabled you will not be able to inspect on this page during that time you can give f12 or to inspect you can uh, use a f12 in the keyboard or you use control plus shift plus i control shift plus i control shift i you do control shift i and then you can uh, use the arrow mark there will be an arrow mark here click on the arrow mark then you do mouse mouse over and click here it will give you that element control shift i when you are not able to inspect it this link uh, you can try checking on it you will not be able to inspect as of right it will be disabled during that time control shift i you do and then use this arrow mark to inspect now here i wanted to click on this uh, element okay here the tag name is img to click on this how to click on this which option we can use id will check id is not there name is not there tag name you cannot uh, most of the times you will have duplicates you can see four images there if you use this tag name img and click on it it will click on the first image so that's not going to be preferable over here link text partial link text is not going to work it's a link only but instead of text there is an image you have to write the xpath what xpath we can write it over here either by uh, image image uh, at the rate alt yeah so you can it's use yeah, most of the time when you see image you will be able to see alt alt is for alternate for example if this image is not available it will show you the go text an alternate text i just removed i'll refresh it one option is you can uh, use this alt go controller slash slash img square bracket at the rate alt equal to go that option you can use 
other option is suppose sometimes alt will not be there at that time most of the time what you can do is link anchor tag will be there you can point to anchor tag and do the operation or image will have source from where this image is going to come you see this is the image which we are getting it here source will be there source detail will be there you can give some part of a source detail image frame also will have src you can give some part of a text over here it's a attribute attribute contains you can use for example see this export and all 22 by heart anything uh, by practice only you will be getting google the export uh, you can use google guru 99 export you see all the export will be given here we will be seeing all these export following preceding ancestor descendant all these export you will be seeing it okay so one by one export you have to work on but uh, these four itself is enough for the time being to practice okay these four itself is enough let me do this tag name is img attribute src i'm going to give some part of a text part of an attribute value go.gaf go.gaf so this will also work so instead of giving the entire link you can use some part of a link these are all approaches best practice which you can use it okay now i'm going to click on it when i click on this it will try to give me the alert box let me do a commit and while doing a commit multiple tabs windows support the same only right so windows we handle i did, did a commit i did only commit which will update my local repository only it will not be reflected here okay i have did commit on commit that's it which is not going to be reflected here only when you do push it will update it over here i just commit now i'm going to create one new package com.nsc. Uh, uh, alert here uh, i'll create one new alert demo demo one alert and then i'll give you main method you could always try to give either demo or a test alert class is already there you should not uh, create a class with the name alert and all for example there is a class called chrome driver there is a class from selenium called chrome driver suppose if you give your class as chrome driver okay if i give your class if i give my class this class as a chrome driver then conflict will occur it will get a conflict between whether uh, like which chrome driver we are using chrome driver this class object or the class which is inside your uh, library the jars external jars it will be quite uh, difficult to identify this and uh, it will give you error only you have to give the complete name here org.openq.selenium.chrome.chrome driver you need to give to avoid unnecessary problem you can give chrome driver demo or you can give chrome driver test so that uh, it will not cause any issues okay just renamed it so that's why i'm using something like demo one demo two or i'll be using something like test demo alert test something like that okay i've just created this class with main method and then navigating to the url i'll click on that uh, image when i click on that image driver dot find element by dot x path this will be the link and then x path is just x path and the x path try to uh, write it directly validate it then you take it to the program already i validated it not doing it here see i have already always validated before taking it to the script okay i click on it when i click on it opens the alert alert box In the alert box you cannot uh, perform the operation you cannot inspect it directly inspect will not work that's basically coming from the browser environment which you can't which will not have the html content okay so right now to handle this switch to method the final switch final we use switch to method is on alert name alert driver dot switch to dot alert 
okay and it will return an alert object you can store that alert object or you can switch to alert first i wanted to get this text you see i click on this we are getting this text i'll try to get the text driver or switch to dot alert dot get text okay get text is the method which will try to give you the alert text here return a string return type of string let me put it inside the string string text equal to system dot out dot print line text okay, let me run this program that's it it will switch to alert and get the text you can run it in all the browser it will work in all the browser switch to alert get the text you just get the text we are not clicking on okay we are just getting the text and printing it okay you click on uh, okay right now you need to do driver dot switch to dot alert you have different methods in the alert object you can see alert class sub so dismiss accept will click on okay dismiss will click on cancel right now here we have only okay either you use accept or dismiss it will click on okay only accept dismiss now objects and all object is basically a parent it's a parent of all the classes whenever you create a class in java you can see super classes object object is basically super class for all the class in java object is going to be parent when you create an object for child it will show you the parent method also these objects and all you can skip it for the timing which is not required see whichever is coming from alert that's what we want accept dismiss i told you okay cancel get text we have seen and send case is there okay i'll show you prompt box will be there from some alert will have prompt box okay right now i'll do accept accept or dismiss it will click on okay it happens in quick time uh, some applications will give alert after some time it's always better to put a wait condition for the alert you see it happens in quick time before switching to alert without uh, alert if you switch to alert it will be getting this error you see here without alert if you try to switch i'll give one one uh, scenario today try to complete that if you are able to do that that particular one assignment for sure you can handle frames alert and all easily without alert if you switch if you run that uh, switch to alert it will throw error without alert if you do this no alert ex present exception okay without alert if you do it sometimes what will happen is when you click on this go here alert comes immediately some application what happen is alert comes after some time either two three second delay will be there during that time if you run the script it will throw error what error no alert present exception so it's always important put a wait condition wait for alert to present wait for uh, alert to present okay you have explicit condition implicit will be used for find element and find elements now my condition is to wait for alert for that i go for explicit condition that i'll tell you so right now if you are trying to automate some application if you are getting a problem on handling the alert it it comes after some time means you for the time being you can add the sleep time red dot sleep you can add it okay the unconditional wait for the time being in the next class i'll tell you how to use this alert it goes for exact condition the explicit wait condition goes for exact condition maybe i'll introduce it right now for alert only i'll do it rest of the things you can check it later let me so i go i go alert. you can check this side in this side you see whatever we are dealing right now it's alert box this is an alert box and okay will be there sometimes you will get okay cancel concept will be same here also i have to do the same thing driver dot switch to dot alert dot get it will get this text here i can do either okay or cancel to click on cancel you can use dismiss that's the difference so if you use accept dismiss in this case it will click on okay only and there will be prompt box nowadays we are not getting these kind of prompt box here you can use dot send keys driver dot switch to dot alert dot send keys and then you can click on okay cancel but come now sometime it will not work but that only will go for auto it if you see the content auto it will be there for doing windows automation which we have to work on okay right now got an idea how to handle the alert
Understood? I'll be giving you one assignment. Uh, in that assignment, lots of frame will be there. You have to get into the frame, come out of frame, and then do lots of operation over here. Just listen here. The assignment introduction I'll give you. You have to log into the, I'll be giving you the step, log into the application. You have to click on patient and then you have to click on new search. Okay. And sorry, you have to click on patient and then click on new search. Once again. Uh, you have to click on new search. If there is patient, click on patient and then new search. Any it's fine. Click on new search. Then here you have to add the name, name of the patient. Let me add some name over here. The first name, just add the mandatory field. I'll give you the steps over here. Just first name, last name, and then uh, gender you can choose. Date of birth will be there. When you see date of birth kind of thing right now, First, you choose the date manually, copy the format, copy the format, and then do for date field. Okay, don't get confused uh, and don't send uh, your, your own date and all. Whatever the date you want, first select it, understand the format here, copy it, and then do driver.find element by dot uh, id or xpath dot send keys, and send keys you have to put this exact format then it will work most of the date it will work if that is not working we'll write a script and we'll inject it so we fill this mandatory field i'll give you the step after that i'll click on confirm create new patient it gives you the pop-up whether you want to create the patient for sure click on confirm create new patient all these comes under a different different frame in this application you see after clicking on confirm create new patient it gives you alert box but this alert box comes after some time just it takes two three second delay during that time, if you run the script, it will throw error. No alert present exception. To handle that, we'll give a sleep time. Any of that sleep is not recommended. Thread dot sleep is not recommended. We use explicit condition in this case. Okay. Explicit condition also going to have the pooling time as 0.5 second only. You cannot alter it over here. Method basically, explicit condition. It's a non-static method. We will be using a class called web driver wait. You see web driver wait. wait. Any variable name equal to new web driver wait. And it's a class with constructor. It's a class which is having a constructor. And you have to call that constructor only. As I told you earlier, we already discussed some part of constructor. If a class is having a constructor created explicitly, you have to call that constructor only select class when we create it was posing us to send a web element because that class has got a constructor okay if you have created a constructor explicitly then we have to call that constructor while creating an object here also same script only web driver wait i need to do while creating an object you see it's going to throw error for sure you need to pass the argument otherwise it will not allow you to use it okay web driver wait driver and duration it's asking where you are going to apply the explicit right duration duration dot of second i'm going to give it as a 50 second okay it's a object we are creating now it dot until is the method it will ask for some lambda functions which uh, we did not discuss right now so we have a method for it static method expected conditions dot expected conditions dot lots of condition is there two condition you can use it right now which will be really useful one is if i do dot alert is present it will wait for the alert to be present what is the maximum time it will wait for the alert to be present exact condition only you can give it right now what is the maximum time it can wait for the alert
so here you can see not to 350 seconds here you see i have given 50 right here i have given 50 web driver wait is created with 50 so it will wait for 50 seconds if alert is not present if alert is present it will try to run the operation immediately it will go for the next step here the condition is wait until alert is present if alert is present immediately it will do the operation you can see it just completed the operation okay now i am not going to click here then run the script i'm not clicking on uh, go so alert is not coming right now it started checking for line number 25 started checking for alert every 0.5 second it checks for the alert it's a conditional weight explicit weight is also a conditional weight only the condition is alert should be present and uh, what is the maximum time it is going to wait for alert that's what we created that's a mandatory part while creating the object you need to mention it right now 50 second it will check for alert every 0.5 second it will check for the alert after 50 seconds we will be getting the same exception you can see the error here with this you can easily understand the pulling time message you see here just uh, wait for 50 seconds most of the time we will be using this alert for example you are doing an operation and uh, while doing an operation only one element takes 100 second to come or only that element takes 150 seconds to come during that time you cannot explicit weight instead of modifying the implicit weight as 200 300 that's not recommended the standard what we use is 20 30 40 rest of the places will add the explicit weight comparing with implicit and explicit explicit will be faster because we are prone to provide it in the required scenarios only you see the error is timeout exception expected condition failed waiting for alert to present try it for 50 seconds okay with 500 millisecond interval this is what i was telling it from the beginning every 0.5 second it checks got it understood now this is your uh, explicit condition you use this uh, instead of using thread.slip try to use implement this coming from the class web driver weight so today we discussed two important concepts multiple tabs alert and explicit weight also important concept three important concepts completed the operation no error. okay now here the condition will be keep on changing based on the scenario Presence of element located by you can see it's asking for by locator. You can give by dot id by dot name. It will wait for that particular element to be coming. If element is not clickable always, you can use element to be clickable. Element to be clickable. If it is asking for web element, use driver dot find element. If it is asking for by, use by dot id. That's what I told you, right? If it is asking for by type, by object will be given by the static method inside by class itself. Web element detail will be given by find element. Right now, a simple script to what I have done, you see until wait, it will be present. Frame contains element, title to be present. You will have different, different detail. Title contains, URL contains. Two method we frequently use. One is alert, the one is presence of element located. Based on that, I'll be able to cover rest of the thing. Right now, alert is present. Okay. Explicit weight. And uh, the fluent weight is the most advanced one. In that uh, you can control the pooling time also. That is the difference. In fluent weight, you can control the pooling time. Like every two seconds, I want to check, ignore some exception. This is the most advanced weight. Discuss about that. So any doubt till now? What have you discussed? Let me do a commit for Java project and add it. Realist collections. Commit and put shall do. Then for uh, Selenium concept. You guys can check the GitHub link. 
for accessing the project, it will be easy for you to alert and uh, explicit wait I added. Okay. Major, major concept in Selenium part is done. We have lots of other concepts. Okay, uh, dynamic pages you need to handle, few dynamic pages, logics you need to write. Okay. Mouse or activities, keyboard activities. Going further, those things look simple for you. Just practice on few assignments which I share you. I'll share the assignments in uh, some time. You guys can check that. Try to work on the concept what you have discussed right now. Go through the Java Java part again and again. You get uh, every every Java part what we discussed. It's uh, quite difficult to uh, keep it in mind. That's why I'm taking with an example parallelly few concepts like oops concepts and all. You have to learn with the real time examples. Then only you can understand it. Okay. So any doubts? I'll share the assignments detail. You guys can check it in the portal, in the drive link. And uh, GitHub link, you can make a note of it. This will be the Selenium GitHub, Java GitHub. In the session notes, I'm adding it in the bottom. I'll put it in the chat. If you want, you can click it. added in the chat window both are in public only you can access directly just click on this you will be able to if you go to commit section also i'm just adding whatever the concept you're learning so you will get some idea about it okay that's all for today's session let me know if you have any doubts otherwise we'll connect on monday next week we'll complete the selenium concepts and uh, we'll uh, See pending concepts uh, are available. Like uh, those concepts, I'll try to cover the next week. Assignments, you guys can check it after uh, thirty minutes. I'll upload it in the drive link. And while up, you can start working with your application. No, we have to cover the oops concepts, right? I have const. I have uh, completed till constructor only with constructor concepts itself you will be able to work with the selenium part selenium is already designed code till now if you see here uh, till explicit weight uh, what we are using is creating an object only okay inheritance we need to work on we will be working on inheritance oops concept like inheritance these concepts are uh, something which we are using here and there okay inheritance Encapsulation, those things and all, polymorphism and all, which we'll be seeing. We have seen a method overloading we have seen, right? That's a static polymorphism. Okay. Whatever I've explained till now in Java, that's what we have seen it in real-time example. Except interface, every other thing is discussed. Inheritance, you need to work on. Then abstraction concept, you need to work on. Under abstraction concept, there is some called abstract plus abstract plus and uh, interface is there method overriding concept and the inheritance will be there dynamic polymorphism exception handling okay these things i've just gave you an example while working with selenium but i did not cover it in the java part which will be covered okay. see so the everything will be covered in core java no need to worry about it collections Okay, almost everything, whatever is required, we will be covering. As of now, whatever we discuss with Java, with that itself, you can complete the Selenium concept. Okay. Well, for example, you can take this, this concept we already discussed, object creation, and calling the non-static method and static method. Okay. Fine. We'll complete it. Mostly in the next week, we'll be completing the, every most of the part in java and selenium before going to framework you should have complete uh, core java knowledge before going to framework in framework we'll be using inheritance concept and all so it's better to complete the we will create the code in framework we will create the code in selenium we are going to use the code use the existing code in frame in selenium in framework you have to create the reusable code so at that time you have to spend time in understanding the java part clearly here existing methods is what you are understanding using this existing method you will create your own 
framework reusable code at that time you should have complete core java knowledge okay fine any doubts till now these things uh, we'll do it maybe in monday will i'll try to complete this thought of completing it today um we'll complete it on monday this topic that's all for today's session we'll connect on monday monday we'll complete this yeah welcome everyone See you then, see you then on Monday.